Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTEC Basil here with an Xperia Z5 Compact. You guys had a bunch of questions about this. Um, this is a flagship spec phone in a more pocketable form factor. It's a really good looking device. First one you wanted to know is what material is the exterior? Well, we don't know what's inside, but the exterior is definitely plastic. It's not metal. Um, it does feel solid. The flat sides give it a lot of grip. Second question you wanted to know is free RAM. How much free RAM is there? If I jump into the application section, I can swipe away to running. System RAM being used is 786. Apps, 221, that's about a gig. So you end up with about a gig of free RAM, just shy of 810 uh, megabytes. It's worth noting that the Z5 Compact has two gig as opposed to the three gig of RAM in the Xperia Z5. Still, you do have 32 gig of onboard memory on here. At the launch event, we said there was 16 because that's what we were told, but that is not the case. So apologies all for the misinformation. As a result, you have that 32 gig and you have 9.43 gig used by the user uh, Android operating system. I've got 18.46 gig user available because um, I've installed a few apps on here. And in addition to that, um, Sony's got their own applications too. What's great about Sony um, is the fact that they do let you uninstall a lot of the applications that they throw on here. Um, so they may be bloatware, but at least it's uninstallable bloatware. Um, what else did you want to know? You wanted us to upload some sample videos. You wanted us to benchmark this thing. We cannot do that. Unfortunately, a stipulation of us being here is us not uploading samples, not uploading uh, benchmark results. So that's a real shame. In fact, we tried to install Antutu and it just self-destructs. It doesn't actually even let us do that. Still, there are a few things that we can do. We tested out whether or not this was gonna be manual camera compatible using the manual camera compatible app. Um, and it is, I'm gonna bring a Z5 into frame. You can see it supports manual focus, manual white balance, manual ISO, manual shutter speed, but no raw support. Um, that won't be through the default camera application. Instead, you're gonna to have to do that through a third party app. The default camera application application um, only takes you as far as really, really rudimentary manual. So white balance, ISO, etc. cetera. Um, still, there are some cool elements within the camera that will please a lot of you guys. If I jump into Superior Auto, I can actually take a picture at the full 23 megapixels, taking full advantage of the sensor on there. Um, if I jump into that picture, you'll be able to see if it's anything like the Z5, which I took a picture on earlier. It takes a really, really nice, sharp picture at that full resolution. So I'm really glad Sony included that. The default though is eight megapixel, so it does down sample. You asked a few other things. Does it support Qi wireless charging? No, it does not, I'm afraid. As far as heat tests go, um, didn't get any overheating issues in using this for a while. Um, that's the Z5 compact but we did do a heat test with the Z5 so check that out don't have time to do one on this um, as far as battery drain goes we did all that with the Z5 we watched an eight minute YouTube clip um, and that dropped six percent um, and finally screen comparison we did indeed compare the screen of this in another video with the screen of the iPhone 6 and with the Z3 Compact. Um, the Z5 Compact came out over the Z3 Compact, which is ace. Last of all, we did an overriding speaker comparison with this and a whole bunch of other front-facing stereo speaker phones. And yeah, watch it. That's how you're gonna find out how it did. Hopefully this video in itself was useful though. If you liked it, click that thumbs up button. Also, if you wanna be in with a chance of winning a Vodafone Smart Ultra 6, that's an awesome smartphone. It's basically just a flagship spec, full HD screen, 615 processor, but comes in at a much, much lower price point. Um, international giveaway, it has LTE on board too. Uh, yeah, really, really good phone. All you have to do is follow us on Instagram. Could not be easier. Thanks for watching BTEC. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe that's how you're going to stay on top of more Z5 compact stuff and of course more competitions and Z5 and other phone stuff in general and if there's anything you want to see let us know in the comments section below cheers 
microSD and a micro SIM slot. So this is going to be expandable by 200 gigabytes, which is mightily impressive. 32 gig onboard memory, 3.5 mil headphone jack. This is going to also be compatible with a set of headphones that Sony is going to be releasing, which allows for both digital noise cancellation and high resolution audio all at the same time. Around the back, it's a new camera sensor, 23 megapixels. And um, what's really awesome about this is that it combines a new focus system with a range of other things to make it a